Breaking news from the aftermath of Starship Flight 7. Pieces of S-33's heat shield have washed ashore, revealing crucial clues about what led to the spacecraft's dramatic end. Today, we're taking you on a journey through the evidence. From the pristine beaches of the Turks and Caicos Islands, where over 100 pieces of debris tell a compelling story, to the heart-stopping moment when Starship's engines began to fail. But this isn't just about scattered debris. It's about understanding one of the most ambitious tests in spaceflight history. As local residents discover metallic fragments along their shorelines and authorities race to manage the situation, SpaceX and the FAA are piecing together a complex puzzle that could shape the future of space exploration. With exclusive photos from the ground, detailed analysis of the engine failure sequence, and insights into how these findings might impact Flight 8's launch window, we're bringing you the complete story of what happened after those spectacular moments in the sky. Plus, we'll explore an unexpected development in the space community, the uncertain future of the legendary Hubble Space Telescope, as NASA grapples with difficult budget decisions that could affect its operations. This is Elon Musk 24 Hours. Let's dive right in. Flight 7 started with incredible promise. The majestic Starship S-33 stood tall against the Texas sky, embodying humanity's boldest dreams of space exploration. As the engines roared to life and the massive vehicle lifted off, no one could have predicted how this test flight would reshape our understanding of spacecraft design and safety protocols. The initial phase was nothing short of spectacular. Booster 14 performed flawlessly, demonstrating the remarkable progress SpaceX has made in perfecting their launch system. The smooth separation, the graceful arc through the atmosphere, everything pointed toward another breakthrough moment in spaceflight history. But space exploration has always been a delicate dance between triumph and tragedy, and Flight 7 would soon remind us of this fundamental truth. The first signs of trouble emerged at T plus seven minutes and 39 seconds. The failure of one of the ship's sea-level engines sent ripples of concern through mission control. What many viewers saw as simple streaks of light against the sky were actually telling a more complex story. These weren't just random flares. They were symptoms of a critical oxygen leak that would ultimately seal the mission's fate. The debris field that followed tells a story all its own. Along the shores of the Turks and Caicos Islands, local residents began discovering pieces of space history washing up on their beaches. What started as a single heat shield tile soon revealed itself to be part of a much larger picture. Over 100 pieces of debris laid out on a long table each fragment a puzzle piece in understanding what went wrong. The metallic pieces and heat shield tiles aren't just debris, they're valuable data points. Each recovered piece helps engineers understand how their designs performed under extreme conditions. Two intact tiles remarkably preserved despite their fiery descent have already provided crucial insights into the heat shield's behavior during the mission's final moments. But this discovery has brought new challenges. The governor of Turks and Caicos, Delini Daniel Selvaratnam, voiced the concerns of her community. The sight of bright colors in the sky, followed by debris washing up on their shores, has raised important questions about safety and environmental impact. Despite SpaceX's assurances about planned trajectories, the debris field extended beyond initial predictions, prompting a careful review of future launch corridors. The FAA's response was swift and methodical. Their January 16th announcement of a formal mishap investigation set in motion a complex process of evidence gathering and analysis. Yet even in the face of these challenges, there's room for optimism. No injuries were reported and property damage has been minimal, a testament to the careful planning that goes into each launch. The investigation has revealed a fascinating cascade of events that led to the mission's end. The initial engine failure at T plus seven minutes and 39 seconds triggered a sequence of complications that would challenge even the most robust spacecraft design. The oxygen leak, likely exacerbated by intense pressures and temperatures, created conditions that stressed the remaining engines beyond their limits. At T plus seven minutes and 52 seconds, cameras captured a concerning sight, fire erupting from the starboard aft flap hinge. This wasn't just any fire, it was a sign that the oxygen leak had created dangerous conditions throughout the ship's systems. The fuel levels began dropping sharply, 
creating a deadly domino effect that would soon claim more engines. The next few seconds were crucial. A second sea level engine failed, followed almost immediately by a nearby vacuum engine. The ship, already struggling to maintain its course, was now fighting against increasingly unstable conditions. At T plus 8 minutes and 17 seconds, the second vacuum engine shut down, followed by the last sea level Raptor engine just six seconds later. The timing and location of these failures paint a picture of a complex system pushed to its limits. Engineers analyzing the data have focused on a particularly intriguing theory, the possibility of ice formation within the liquid oxygen tank. This seemingly small detail could explain the cascade of failures that followed as blocked pipes and increased pressure created conditions that no engine could overcome. But Flight 7 wasn't just about testing engines and heat shields. It represented the debut of the V-2 Starship, featuring significant upgrades to its flaps, heat shield, and payload deployment systems. The modifications to the heat shield, including strategic tile removal and enhanced metallic shielding, showed promise during the early stages of flight. While their full capabilities remain untested due to the mission's premature end, the data gathered will prove invaluable for future iterations. As SpaceX works to prepare Flight 8, every lesson learned from this mission takes on new importance. The recovered debris, the telemetry data, and the detailed analysis of the engine failures are all pieces of a larger puzzle. Elon Musk's tentative February target for the next launch may seem ambitious, but it reflects the company's commitment to rapid iteration and learning from failure. The story of Flight 7 extends beyond just SpaceX and their immediate goals. It connects to broader questions about the future of space exploration, including the fate of other crucial space assets like the Hubble Space Telescope. As NASA grapples with budget constraints that could limit Hubble's operations from 2026 to 2029, the space community faces difficult decisions about balancing innovation with maintaining existing capabilities. The proposed budget cuts, reducing Hubble's funding to between 83 and $87.8 .8 million annually, represent a 20% reduction that could significantly impact the telescope's efficiency. Julia Roman Duval, interim head of the Hubble Space Telescope Mission Office, has described the challenge as nearly impossible to meet without compromising crucial aspects of the mission. This convergence of events, Starship's development challenges and Hubble's uncertain future, highlights the complex reality of modern space exploration. Every success and failure shapes our understanding of what's possible, what's practical, and what's worth pursuing. The debris from Flight 7, scattered across Caribbean beaches, isn't just evidence of a mission that ended prematurely, it's a reminder of the costs and consequences of pushing boundaries in the quest to reach the stars. The detailed analyses provided by the space engineering community, particularly from the space engineer and VBS space teams, have been instrumental in understanding these events. Their meticulous work has helped piece together the sequence of failures that led to Flight 7's end, providing crucial insights that will inform future missions. As we await Flight 8, the space community remains focused on learning from these experiences. The challenges faced during Flight 7, from engine failures to debris management, are stepping stones toward more reliable and capable spacecraft. Each recovered piece of debris, each data point analyzed, and each lesson learned brings us closer to achieving the ambitious goals that drive space exploration forward. As we process the lessons from Flight 7, one thing becomes crystal clear. Each piece of debris washing up on those Caribbean shores tells part of a larger story about humanity's journey to the stars. The investigation continues, but the spirit of innovation at SpaceX remains unshaken. Flight 8's preparation moves forward, incorporating every insight gained from this mission. The future of space exploration stands at a pivotal moment. From the debris fields of Starship to the uncertain fate of Hubble, crucial decisions lie ahead. But these challenges have always been part of pushing boundaries, each setback teaching us something new, each discovery bringing us closer to our goals. Your thoughts on these developments matter. How do you think SpaceX will adapt their design for Flight 8? What role should NASA prioritize for Hubble's remaining years? Share your perspectives in the comments below. If you want to stay at the forefront of SpaceX's journey and other breaking space news, 
Make sure to subscribe to Elon Musk 24 hours. Hit that like button if you found this analysis valuable and turn on notifications to never miss an update. Until next time, keep watching as history unfolds above us. This is Elon Musk 24 hours bringing space down to earth. History unfolded before our eyes as Starship took to the skies for its seventh flight, a journey that would push the boundaries of what we thought possible, only to end in a spectacular finale that left the space community buzzing with questions. In the heart of Starbase, SpaceX's latest marvel, Ship 33, stood ready for its maiden voyage. This wasn't just another test flight, it was the debut of the revolutionary Block 2 design, carrying with it the hopes and dreams of thousands of engineers and space enthusiasts worldwide. The countdown began like any other, but this launch was different. The massive rocket towering against the Texas sky held more innovations than any of its predecessors. As the final minutes ticked away, the teams at Mission Control watched their screens intently, monitoring every system of this engineering masterpiece. Then it happened a successful liftoff followed by an unexpected turn of events that would leave the space community dissecting every frame of footage for days to come. Why did Starship destroy itself? The answer lies in a fascinating chain of events that pushed the boundaries of rocket engineering to its limits. But that's not all. Elon Musk has just revealed a dramatic shift in Starship's future, with changes to the Block 3 design that are truly mind-bending. The scale of these modifications will reshape our understanding of what's possible in space exploration. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours. Let's dive right in. As the massive starship stood bathed in the golden Texas sunlight, no one could have predicted the roller coaster of emotions that would unfold over the next few minutes. The launch clock ticked steadily towards zero, each moment bringing us closer to what would become one of the most memorable flights in the starship program's history. At T-minus 45 minutes, the fueling process began, and immediately we noticed something remarkable. Despite the increased tank size of this Block 2 variant, the fueling time had actually decreased by five minutes compared to Flight 6. This wasn't just a minor improvement, it was a testament to SpaceX's relentless drive for efficiency, a sign that their modifications to the fuel farm were paying off in ways that would prove crucial for future rapid reusability. The final minute of countdown brought the first moment of tension. At T minus 40 seconds, we reached the critical pause point, a moment that had stopped previous launch attempts dead in their tracks. But Ship 33 wasn't interested in adding drama to this particular moment. The countdown continued smoothly, as if the rocket itself was eager to prove what this new Block 2 design could do. Then came the moment of truth. The roar of 33 Raptor engines shattered the morning silence, their combined force lifting the 5,000-ton behemoth off the pad with a grace that seemed to defy physics. This was already the seventh such launch in just under two months, a pace that would have seemed impossible just a year ago. SpaceX wasn't just launching rockets. They were revolutionizing our understanding of what's possible in spaceflight operations. The weather conditions brought an interesting historical parallel to mind. While Starship Flight 7 enjoyed clear skies, its numerical predecessor from another era, Apollo 12's Saturn V, had faced a very different challenge. That seventh flight had been struck by lightning twice during launch, yet still completed its mission to the moon. It seemed fitting that both seventh flights would end up teaching us valuable lessons about rocket design and operation, albeit in very different ways. As Booster 14 powered through the dense lower atmosphere, everything appeared nominal at first, but keen observers noticed something unusual just before the planned stage separation. It was subtle, a slight anomaly that would later prove significant in understanding the day's events. The stage separation itself was a masterpiece of engineering precision. For the first time ever, a Block 2 ship ignited its engines while still attached to its booster, a maneuver known as hot staging that would become crucial for future deep space missions. The ship broke free cleanly, its engines burning bright against the darkening sky as it continued its journey to space. But Booster 14's story was far from over. As it began its return journey, the first hint of drama emerged. 
Of the 13 center engines meant to fire for the boost back burn, only 12 roared to life. This kind of engine out scenario would have been enough to abort a landing attempt in most rocket programs, but SpaceX had built redundancy into every aspect of Starship's design. The decision to proceed with a landing attempt despite the engine anomaly revealed SpaceX's growing confidence in their systems. It was a calculated risk, backed by thousands of hours of simulation and analysis. The missing engine wasn't just a problem to be overcome, it was an opportunity to demonstrate the robustness of their design. As the booster approached the catching arms of the launch tower, hearts raced across Starbase. The precision required for this maneuver is difficult to comprehend. Imagine threading a needle while riding a motorcycle. Yet somehow the missing engine had relit for the landing burn, giving the booster its full complement of control for the final approach. The catch itself was nothing short of spectacular, 